Let's start from scratch and create a template using our powerful blank canvas. All you need to do is choose the second option, which is new project from scratch. You click that option and then you can immediately go to a page that looks something like this. The first thing that we highly recommend you to do is create a project name. Let's say we're creating a project for a bakery. That's what we would create the name. You can either just put bakery project or specific to that company. So let's say it's ABC Bakery Inc. That's what I would put the name as. Now there's another option that you see in the bottom, which is a checkbox option, which says I have a voice over. I do not want to write a script. So this right here is where you can actually put a voiceover of your own and it will allow you to create the slides and so on thereafter. Or you can go through the slides right here by pasting a script. So that's the option I'm going to do, which is to write my own script or paste, copy and paste a bunch of script that I have. And then here, as you can see, there are two components here. One is where the slides are located, which is right here. And then the other element is where we actually have the settings tab to your right, like so what you see right here, all these elements. And here I'll walk you through a couple of things real quick. First thing is selecting a soundtrack. This is useful if you want to put a background music file and so on and so forth. You can do that right here. We have a whole bunch that is already available here, depending on what you want to do and what kind of a business model and business you're trying to create the soundtrack for. This is useful if you're only interested in a soundtrack. If you're not, you can ignore that, put no soundtrack like it is right now. The speech language. Now this says English and then you can choose it down to other languages if you're actually putting in different language text in there. Okay. Uh, as well, what would be very powerful here for you to do is start off with English and then you can translate it later on to another language. That's also a possibility. And then we have scene background, which is you see white, black, glass board, custom color, custom image, and so on. You can do these customizations as well. Again, very easy. So for example, if I want to change this from whiteboard to blackboard, I just choose this one option and then automatically the slides that get created in the very next step will be all for a blackboard based video that you're going to be creating. And then glassboard is the same way, which is a reverse based video creation process where you can actually have the writing being and sketching and doodling being done via a glassboard type format. And then you have the custom color, which is different colors that you can add. Let's see, you want to add a green board, you want to add a blueprint or whatever type of design you want to do, you can do that through the custom color and you can change it to your heart's desire, whichever color would suit you. Let's say if it was a blueprint, I would choose a blue color like so, and I would be uh, able to do use that option for the blueprint option, right? Or you can put your own custom image as well as a background like you see here. Very, very easy to do. Now, again, icon type, it says black icon, color icon, mixed icon. What this means is you can create a black and white doodle video, just like your normal doodle videos, or you can use color doodle videos, which is basically where the doodles and the whiteboard drawings that you're doing and sketching you're doing are all going to be in color or mixed. So mixed would basically be the ability for you to create both black and white as well as color doodles captured at the same time. Now, what I mean by captured is that because you're using artificial intelligence to be able to create your doodle videos, whatever script that you type in in these slides will automatically pick, be picked up and you'll actually be able to create those videos in color, black and white, and in this case, mixed as well for this. So that means based upon what script you paste, automatically the app is going to find all the icons, the doodle assets and so on to put it together so that you have all the project assets together. And I'll explain that as we go along how that works. And then we have hand styles. This is basically where you have different uh, styles of hands and different ethnicities and so on as well, so that you can actually be able to change it and customize it to what you want to do. And again, this comes into play because you have different types of hands that you can use for different scenarios. For example, we have different transitions that we can do. And again, I'll explain that as well as we go along as well. So the first things first, let's say we're creating it for a bakery as an example. So let me create some basic slides for it. Let me do that right now. So let me just paste a bunch of script that I have. Again, this is 
something where you can grab it from online or from somewhere, on somewhere else, it's up to you where you wanna bring it. Maybe your client send this over to you as well, this text, it's up to you, very easy. So I'm gonna just sort them into different slides and what I recommend is just keep them within a one line type of framework so that the voiceover also syncs when you're, whether you're using text to speech or your own audio. So I'm gonna put add new slide here. And again, very, very straightforward. So let's put a new slide in here. And then I'm gonna put together a simple script that is going to work. Again, this can work in different types of videos that you can create because you have full customization. You can actually create any type of video that you desire. There is full flexibility there. But I'm just gonna show you the easiest way to do it. Again, I'm gonna paste the script over and I'm gonna finish this up right now by putting up a script that was created. I'm just changing them over into different slides so that I can add more effects, customizations and transitions. So let me finish that right now. So we have that pasted over as you can see here. And now I'm gonna pick for example, different types of doodle videos that you can create. So let's put mixed so that I can show you both color and black and white so that you have an idea of where each of them come into play. Of course, what I would recommend you to do is just pick either color or black and white and in mixed in certain cases as well. We'll show you that as we go along. Now, I've chosen the whiteboard option here as you can see and I've chosen this first hand that you see here. I can change every element obviously, I can customize it, I can choose any of these other hands as well. So now once we've done that, let's click on the save option right here. So now what's gonna happen is automatically the application is going to find us the related icons for what we have here, okay? so. As you can see here, we have these underline looking for quality bakery. And if you have some questions and so on. So all these are automatically highlighted. And of course, with time, what people pick and what people use, it's gonna become more accurate. That's the beauty of artificial intelligence and machine learning that's integrated into the application. So over time, things are gonna be more accurate, better, and we can pull off of our catalog of uh, tons of doodle assets and whiteboard assets, and as well as different colored, doodle assets as well that we have capable of bringing in here. So of course, as you edit things, things will get better. That is as simple as it is to create your own project from scratch using the artificial intelligence features in the application. Now, every element here is editable. So you could change elements, you can resize them, change the color, you can change the transitions as well. So for example, I'm fade in, I can make this hand drawing, I can make this something else, for example, slide from left to right, and I can preview them right off the bat as well on how it would appear. And the better aspect of it is the flexibility that you get because you can delete certain segments and elements as well if they don't add up, or you can also change these elements that you see here. And that's something I'll be talking about in the other tutorials as well coming up so that you can go through them and we'll talk about how to speed up, slow down certain things and other elements as well that you will be seeing. And of course, you can add text elements as well throughout the sequencing. So for example, if I wanna add text, I can just insert it saying something along the lines of ours is a quality bakery for example, and I click insert, and I can change the font and everything out as well, obviously. And then here I can put it, and there are different elements and layerings as well that you can do, which uh, we'll get to as we go along. So for example, this one, I can change every element. So I can make the drawing speed here. You see that, how I'm changing the speed of it. I can make it go backwards, forward as well. So in certain cases, I wanna layer them on top of each other, I can do that. And ultimately I can change the color of it as well uh, to whatever I desire, and the fonts as well, as you saw in the previous steps. So that is how you can do the transitions, how do you want it to appear and so on. And here to your right, you can change all the other elements and when you want it to appear, when the animation will appear and all that flexible uh, customizations that you can do. Now that concludes the ability for you to quickly create your own project from scratch using the blank canvas. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about the next step of the process, if you wish, which is the translation engine. And the translation engine allows you to translate any videos into any language, bringing in existing videos as well. So let's do that. See you in the next video.